Hi everyone, today I'm with my good mud buddy, Cy Fines, as you can see, and we are here to do a bit of mudlarking and see what the tide's left out. It's a lovely low tide today, it's really cold, but it's absolutely beautiful, and so I'm feeling very hopeful. What about you, Cy? Yeah, you look, you're right, we're, we're here nice and early, up with the birds, lots of lovely nature. I think I can see some swans in the distance, and that's going to bring us some good luck in the muck. I don't know, I'm really up, I'm up for anything, you know me, I like... I like like the mystery and the history of what we find down here. So you can never be expected, but just uh, be lucky you're out in these wonderful surroundings. With good money, buddy. Yes, <laughs> I know, it's lovely. Okay, well, let's go then, shall we? Let's do it. Let's go. There's so much lovely pottery here. And this looks like a really nice piece of festival. And, oh. Have you seen what I've just seen? This is a really exciting little find. This is a piece of comb, knit comb even. Now that could be made of wood or it could be made of bone and it could be Tudor. Look at that. So that bit there would have been for the knits and that would have been for ordinary combing. And actually, the design really hasn't changed over the years. That's a lovely find. Let's have a look here. What is that? Sometimes you find these little lead objects and you think they are something, but actually <laughs> they're not. What have we got here? Lots of bits of nail. Pins. Oh, 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 oh. Something glinting here. Oh my goodness, what's this? Pretty. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely beautiful. Look. That is gorgeous. It's a little bird, like a dove, with maybe an olive branch. Well, if that's not a sign, nothing is. A sign for peace. Now, I don't know if it's gold at the moment, and it probably isn't, but I am thrilled with that. Wow, wait till I show Simon that. I'd never make a jewellery model, would I? I don't think they'd like my hands. <laughs> Just seen a lovely marble here. Always good to find a marble. Looks like a cod marble. Now there's no sun today, but we can do a marble in the air shot. And pottery. I'm intrigued as to what is on this piece of pottery. Seems as if there is a little man there. Let's clean it off a bit. And is that a horse that he is with? I think it could be. Well, Cy Fines, what have you got? Well, uh, I found a little bed of uh, pipe stems and a few bowls I can see peeking out. Ooh. I know this is yours, genre, Nick, so sorry for stealing your thunder. <laughs> <laughs> but we can play a little bit of pipe bingo. So is it a pipe or is it a stem, right? Then you just got to guess if there's anything on the end of a stem, right? So we've got one there. Sounds good to me. We've got one there. We've got one there, which we know is a pipe. Look, see that one right there? Yep. Oh, there's one there as well, isn't there? Yeah. So we there. don't know if that has a bowl on the end. Might Ooh, be one there. Yes. Mind when you're stepping as well, because you might be punching yeah. them. Yeah. Oh <laughs> but this is, a, to start us off, um, this is a really nice one. I just pulled this one out when I first found it. And I think this <gasps> one's decorated. Oh, yes, um, it is. Yeah, if you tap on one, there we go. So I reckon, I reckon this is the, th the, um, the thistle one. Um, perhaps the. Uh, oh, I the, don't know. Or, I think it's something a bit more elaborate or, than that, isn't it? Oh, no, like you're right. Maybe English, there is. English rose, perhaps. Yes. So that's a beautiful one to start us off with. 
That is really lovely. Yeah. yeah. So, right, so what about this one? Do you reckon it's a stem? Uh, I reckon that's going to be a stem. Oh. 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 <gasps> am I wrong? Oh my gosh. <laughs> how wrong am I? <laughs> Does that mean that you get the next go? <laughs> yeah, I'll get that, that one. Yeah, so that's nice. A lovely Victorian pipe there. That's crazy, right? Woo. Nice one. So that's that's two that's two two good ones. Right, this one obviously, <laughs> hmm, is this one a pipe or a stem? <laughs> It must be. I think, oh, very nice. I love it. He just called me over here to just just um <laughs> see just find loads of pipes. We've got one more here. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say it's a stem. Would you yeah, don't tell it don't tell Simon. Hang on, no, I can't see it. Right, oh, anyway, got, so um, for, oh I can see it on now, well done, yeah. So I reckon this one's a stem. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. A stem. You're right, you're okay, right. Okay. This couple here, look. There's one is that one there? Um yeah, yeah, well listen, I'm gonna say that that's a stem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're wrong again. I'm totally wrong. <laughs> I, oh no, I'm going to lose my uh, <laughs> my pipe extracting expertise, <laughs> credibility. Okay. This one, I'm going to say that is, I'm going to say it's a pipe. Oh, boo. Right, next one. Which one do you want? That one? Okay. Um, yeah, let's go for that one. I'm going to say that that one is pretty much a, a stem, really. Maybe with the, yeah, a stem. Yes, you're right, it's a stem. Okay. Oh, right. And then we've got one next to it. It looks like it's been squished, this one, so we can just say that it's definitely a pipe, but. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh, just oh. a few. That's a shame. Nice that stem. One, yeah. Now there is one right by your hand there. That one there? Yeah. Well, you can pluck that one out. Okay. You're so kind. Thank you. Hang on, let me just get my <laughs> trowel out. Get out of the way. Oh, I reckon this one's going to be a nice yeah. cold one. Sorry, my nose is running in the cold. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Beauty. There's also one between your legs. There. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's broken. That one looks just like a, yeah, oh, a, broken, a broken bowl. One. There's one here. What do you reckon? Stem. Stem yeah. It looks like it might have some red wax. Oh, yeah. Well, it is broken now, even if yeah. it wasn't before. Right, we've got one more just here that that feels like it's a stem I, ch I cheated i already tapped it <laughs> <laughs> oh good one well very happy with that oh um that one's going to be a stem okay. correct <laughs> well you've done pretty well there haven't you yeah, look at that ladies broken. and gentlemen Oh, there we go. You can see there's a bit of bowl on there. Look, that one. Oh, yeah. You can see the initial on the heel. The bowl. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And there's one more here. Oh, yeah. Looks like a stem. Looks like a stem. Stemmy. Yeah. Um, there's one here as well. Yeah, go for it. There's two, actually. I think that's going to be a stem. <laughs> and... This one, let's say, oh. let's see the, yes. That's got a little bit more. This uh, one could be a whole pipe. See it there, everyone? That bit there. Uh, foiled. Foiled again. Sci so finds a collection of clay pipes, including this one here, which is, yeah, which is a nice, uh, decorated one and we'll be able to see that a bit better when it's faded you can send me a photo of that yeah. later. well that was a fun game pipe yes. bingo <laughs> pipe bingo <laughs> tune in again for next week for more pipe bingo excellent i think you won <laughs> wow there's a lovely piece of featherware here well i call it featherware anyway I love this pottery. I use it to make my pottery fish. This bit's actually a bit too big, but it's a beautiful example. All the same. Now, I've just been scraping here and up has popped a really pretty bead. Look at that.
Now, I don't know too much about beads, but my friend Flory does of Flow Finds, so I'll show her this and ask her her thoughts on it. I think I found a little garnet with a hole in it. <laughs> you have. You have indeed. It's really pretty. So why has it got a hole in it then? It's a mystery. Yeah, we, f we find them in just a few spots and I think I think they were used for trading. Yeah. I think they might have come over from, <clears throat> yeah, you know, India or somewhere like that. Sometimes you can um, unplug them. This is this is quite a small one, but it takes some doing to uh, to drill these because they're such a hard gemstone. So interesting. Someone's job. I'm going to put it on a chain. Yeah, someone's job was to sit there and uh, carve these out. I think they come over on a big chain, and I think somehow they got lost. Maybe because they weren't as valuable as the um, as the they they first thought. I just use this old pin. Oh, great, yeah, keep it on the pin. So there you go, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll try and... Oh, lovely, thanks, Si. There you go. A <laughs> garnet with a, a hole in it. <laughs> on a pin. Let's see if I can find any more. There, I found a little buckle, a little brass buckle. Yeah, it's really sweet. Look, look like gold when it came Ooh, out. But we're always, uh, that is so nice. Yeah, it's got on the writing as well. Oh, beautiful. Patent Lieber slide. So, patent Lieber slide. Yeah, that sweet, is isn't very it? Very nice. Yeah, I wonder how old it is. Yeah, what do you think? Georgian, Victorian? Yeah, I was thinking that sort of age, maybe mm. Victorian, early, early Victorian. I think so. Very nice. Yeah, I bet you, um. Quite excited when you saw that glinting. Yeah, it's always a it's a for sure foolery. <laughs> we see a bit of brass, it looks like gold, and then yeah, alas, it's brass, but it's still a nice little find. Lovely. Now I can see a piece of pottery down here which looks as if it's got a really lovely scene on it. Just there. Oh yeah, look at that. I love finding these, these pieces of transferware broken in just the right place. Now, what are these guys up to? They look as if they could be in the grounds of some regal mansion, or maybe a university or something, sitting around a table. Hopefully, I'll be able to find the full design. But these, I, um, I like to call them Thames Ceramic Tales. And also, look at this. Look at this. This looks like a little lion. Possibly from the side of a tureen or something. A soup tureen. Oh, hello there. That's great. It's like a, uh, a really good example of what a clay pipe is like inside. There is so much pottery here. Oh, now it's not in one piece, but I would recognise those horns anywhere. It's from a Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes clay pipe. You can see those horns on either side. The front bit's missing where it would say R-A-O-B. Now I've 
have seen another really nice piece down here. Look at this. The ghostly face of a woman. Let's see if we can find some more. I have seen something curious over here and at first I thought maybe it was a shell. It looks like the head of a doll to me. I've uh, dug a few dolls in my time. And yeah, I think I am right. I am. I am right. And oh, here we have it, look. Now, isn't that strange? <laughs> Let's take a moment to see the doll shaped hole there. What is this doing here? Now, I would suspect that this would be mid 1900s. It's not brand new. Well, hello, Dolly. Oh, do you know what? She's even got her eyes. She's got little glass eyes. Well, that was a lucky spot. right time right place right you know what I don't want to lose those eyes and so I shall give her a careful washing at home but here she is welcome to the world Dolly who was the last person who held you and possibly lost you and possibly got quite upset and where's the rest of your body. So, what else have you got? I spied my little eye, a little Queen Victoria young head. This is a little half penny, really cool. I think it's dated to 1862, so yeah, very happy with that. Lovely. Yeah, shows it's uh, you just see her there, can't yeah, you? Yeah, ghostly figure. Obviously, yeah. passed through many palms. Yes. 150 years ago. Yeah, and preserved beautifully by the Thames. Not sure if it's clean that up or leave it as it's as it is. Kind of looks nice in its sort of a uh, patinaed form, doesn't it? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Cool. Thank you. So Nick, you had a good day. You found some good stuff. I have. I found some really nice little bits and pieces, and I'm looking forward to getting home and having a closer look at them. Fantastic. Well, the show's not over because I've got you a little gift. I found this on a mud venture out on the hovercraft and in my video I mentioned that I want to give it to you because I know how much you love this particular insect, Ooh. I think it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, happy wow. new year I suppose. Or Thank you. Just, uh, just a nice gift for a friend, there you go. Thanks Si. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> I love presents. Yeah, nice full short gift. Feels like it could be a bowl. Oh, there we go, yeah. I love it. Oh, I really love it. Look. There we go. Nick loves her butterflies. She's got a nice pendant as well, haven't you? So it matches that. Oh, that is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. A Victorian bowl and there's no cracks in it. No. Is it a bowl, do you think? Or, yeah, it's a bowl. I think, bowl. I think you might have Anemone. possibly had a lid at some point. This has got a little rim on the inside, but it's so beautiful. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Go. I'm glad you like it. Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope that you're all well, wherever you're watching from in the world. And I hope that you enjoyed that mudlarking expedition along the River Thames in London. It's always such a great pleasure to meet up with my mud buddy, Cy Fines, and that video was actually filmed back in January. And Simon gave me that beautiful butterfly bowl as a New Year's gift. Well now, a few months later, it is actually the day that this video was released, Easter day and that bowl is now very handy as a little Easter egg bowl. So I'd like to wish you all a very, very happy Easter and I'd like to offer you all an Easter egg. So don't be shy, please come and help yourself to a nice Easter egg.
Such a shame that they haven't invented screens that we can reach our hands in and take a chocolate egg. But as it's the holidays, I do have somebody here who might be able to eat one or two of them on your behalf. Let me see if she's out of bed yet. My daughter Grace is back from uni, so it's all lovely having her back here. So let's see if she's up. Grace! Grace! <laughs> she's here, she's gonna come in. I'm gonna offer her a few eggs. She uses up such a lot of energy while she's having lions. Shh, don't tell her I said that. I mean, she deserves lions. She's doing maths at university. So, hello, good morning. Hello. <laughs> Are you gonna come say hello to everyone? Hello. <laughs> now, look, I offered everybody an egg, but they can't, unfortunately, reach into the screen okay. to get one. So I thought maybe you could have some on their behalf. Okay. Yeah, Fine. force yourself. I have to. <laughs> it's a healthy breakfast, yeah. eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Take a Frenzy. handful. Okay. So what are you going to do today? Lie in bed all day. Lie in bed No, I, I'm going to go work soon. Oh, well, thank you very much for popping in to say hello to everybody and to wish them a... Happy Easter! Happy Easter, everyone! You're very, very fortunate, you know, that we managed to get Grace to come in and make a guest appearance. Yeah. Where's my hourly rate? <laughs> Cheeky thing. Okay. Right, okay then. Well, I'll let you get on with your healthy egg breakfast. Yeah. And <laughs> I'll see you later see on. Mmm, enjoy your egg. Bye. Dear Eva, it's so nice having her home, as I'm sure you can appreciate if you've got children away at university. It's also very exciting when they come back. Um, so, Grace and I actually went to Deptford flea market this morning and I ended up buying some really beautiful old albums from World War II. Really lovely old photographs. I think they belong to somebody who is in the Royal Navy. But anyway, there's like a whole story there, loads and loads of photos. And I look upon it a bit like urban mudlarking. So I'm wondering what you might think if I did a few urban mudlarking videos and try to research a little bit about these people who these albums belong to. It always strikes me as so kind of sad that these people, they, they die and there's a house clearance done and then these albums, all these memories, all these stories end up on a big table and it's become a little bit of an obsession for me recently. I've been collecting quite a lot of these old photographs so I'm going to be working on a few urban mudlarking videos so let's see how that goes. But anyway, briefly, just going back to today's outing. So I found that lovely little ring. Uh, I knew it wasn't gold. It's very, very um, obvious it's not gold, actually. It's very pretty though. And it just about fits on my little finger. I think it's a little dove there with an olive branch. So it's always nice to find rings on the Thames. You never know why they ended up there. I do have quite a big collection and each one obviously has a story which we'll never know about. But my favourite finds of that outing were the little fragments of Victorian transfer wear. I love finding them when there's a little scene like this one. It always makes me want to be able to climb in and see what's going on in their little world. So I haven't actually found the full design yet. If you know what it is, then please do feel free to get in touch and let me know. It looks like a few men um, hanging out in the garden together, chatting. Similarly, this one is also quite intriguing. It's a couple of people with a couple of horses. Looks like they're outside a tent. So goodness knows what they're up to. And this is rather beautiful too. It kind of reminds me of some of the photographs that I've just brought back with me from the flea market, sort of faded, ghostly face there. So lots of little treasures, plus the garnet and the bead. And it's just um, a lovely way to spend a few hours rummaging around in the treasure box that is the River Thames. Do you know, I almost forgot that I wanted to show you my doll's head lamp. 
Now, the little doll that you saw me pull out of the mud has had a thorough washing. Her head is now completely emptied of mud and I managed to conserve the eyes and I've added her to my lamp made of doll's heads. And this lamp is here, not very Eastery, a little bit more like um, Halloween actually. And so let me show you what it looks like when it's all lit up. Let me turn on these little lights. It's a bit fiddly. Bear with me a minute. One and this one. Come on. Almost there. Ah, oh, here we go. Right, so the new doll head is the one that's here. I'm going to turn the light off so you can get a little bit more of the um, effects of what it's like. Just going to turn the light off. There you are, look, that is my doll lamp. And this little dolly here is the one that you saw me pull out of the mud. She makes a perfect addition to this eccentric, let's face it, lamp. Now with it being Easter, I wanted to show you, now some of you will have seen this already, those of you that have been watching my video for years, but I wanted to show you a couple of Easter themed finds that I came across on the Thames foreshore a few years ago. And they are these two eggs here, ceramic eggs. Now at first when I found them, I didn't know what they were at all, but a bit of research revealed that back in 2012, an anonymous artist threw, goodness me, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of ceramic eggs into the River Thames and they've been washing up ever since. Lots and lots of them have been found and I've been lucky enough to find two. So this one is a solid little egg and it has a serial number on the bottom. But this one is rather exciting because it actually rattles. I'm going to give it a very gentle rattle because recently I gave it a very, uh, a very rough rattle and I nearly broke it. So I've had to sort of patch it up a little bit with glue, but there you go. And I've never found out what's inside. It's probably just a little bit of ceramic, a little bit of um, fired clay, but it remains a mystery as to what's inside the egg. And it's very, very tempting to smash it open to have a look, but I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it like that. So those are my Eastery finds. What else did I want to tell you? Um, on the 11th of April, I'm actually going to Chicago for five days to meet up with some fellow mudlarks, Nathan and also Bryce, Bryce Reed, who has a channel. I'll put the name of the channel here. And we're going to do a little bit of treasure hunting and geocaching and bottle digging and all sorts of things in Chicago. So I'm really excited about that. And I am going to try and arrange a little meetup for those of you who might be close to Chicago. I might end up sitting in the meetup place all on my own, but that doesn't matter. I thought I'd try it out anyway. So if any of you are close by, you'll be able to come and say hello. So I will give details of that very shortly once I've worked it all out. Today, if you're watching this video on Easter Sunday, I'm actually in Dorset with Tobias, my mudlarking friend and also metal detectorist. And in fact, we are going metal detecting. So I'm hoping to find some more Roman coins because the last time I was in Dorset, I found some really stunning Roman coins. So I think that's about it really. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed the mudlarking and I hope you enjoyed meeting my daughter Grace. I'm sure she enjoyed meeting all of you. I'd like to wish you an excellent day, an excellent week ahead. Make sure you do something for yourself that you really enjoy this week. And thank you as always for all your support. Thank you for your comments and thank you to everybody who has donated to my Kofi and my super thanks. I really appreciate your donations. But most of all, as always, thank you for being yourselves. Have an excellent week ahead and I'll see you again very soon with more mudlarking adventures. Lots of love. Bye-bye.